Hi guys, this is Mark from Mark10Movement.com, movement, fitness and health. In this episode, we'll be answering a reader's question, which is the following. Can I do enough cardio? Oh, sorry. Can I do too much cardio is the question. And to give you a little bit of uh, reference, we just launched a 60 days online uh, fitness program, 60 days of workouts delivered straight into your mailbox. The buy-in is $90. If you complete the program, you do it all, you get your money back, so it's free. If you don't, it's mine. That should be an incentive for you to actually do the work. We've added a, a rule into it, so if you're in the challenge and you invite somebody else into the challenge and they fail, you get 50%. So you can get rich or get fit trying. I uh, should have thought about that a little bit more. Anyway, back to the question. Question is, can I do too, too much cardio? And the person asked because there is some running in the program. Uh, so it, it, it's more to give it a little bit of context. It is more specifically about running. The answer is yes. That's it. I'll see you at the next episode. <laughs> Obviously not. It's a little bit more complex than that. Uh, so, okay. Can you do too much cardio? The answer is yes, because you can do too much of everything. You can get too many massages. I'm not actually quite sure if that's a good example, but even of good things, you can do too much. Why is that? You're stressing certain systems. So you're stressing the cardiovascular system when you're doing cardio. There's different levels, of course, at which you can do cardio. And if you are smart about what you do, you can probably do cardio a lot. You can do it every day. You can walk a little bit one day, you can do a little bit of bicycle work, you can go on the elliptical or swim. But yes, if you would go on a run every single day, you will most likely get issues, whether it's ankle, knees, hips, back, and specifically when you choose running as your activity. Why? When you run, you absorb about four to six times body weight every time your foot hits the floor. So you can imagine, you go on a five kilometer run, right? So that's 5,000 meters. Let's say you put two steps in a, uh, in a meter. Well, that's 10,000 steps. 10,000 times four to six times body weight. In my case, I'm 75. You do the math. That is a lot of impact. If you do that every day, especially if you're not used to it, of course, you're gonna get issues. So yes, in that way, the answer is you can do too much of a good thing in this case, cardio. What does that mean for you? And if you're on a 60 day uh, challenge, this is uh, for you specifically, make sure you have variety. If you run on one day, maybe do a bicycle uh, cardio activity on the other day or swim or elliptical. The big difference between those is you don't get the constant impact. But the same thing applies if you're a um, cyclist and you're, you're constantly ramming out those RPMs around per minute. Yeah, some of them get hip problems, some of them get knee problems, some of them get ankle problems. Does that mean that the activity itself is bad? No, it probably has to do with the amount that you're doing. So we're always taking a look at how much can your, your body handle at a certain given time and how much stress are you exposing it to. Uh, it to. How much stress are you exposing it to? Wow, I should really practice a little bit more before I start my video. Anyway, if you have questions about this, drop them below, send me a message, and I will cover them in the next video. Until then, bye.